we're taking statements from all the hostages, so I'll try to make this as brief as possible. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad to help. Hey, how's Elizabeth? Is everything okay with the baby? The baby's great. No, I probably shouldn't tell you this because we haven't made an official announcement, but Elizabeth and I are getting married again. Congratulations! Thank you. No, really, that is wonderful. Now your baby will grow up with both parents. Jason? to be a hostage, but it put everything into perspective. It made us realize what really matters, you know, being good to each other, doing the right thing, yeah. never, ever giving up. Well, that's the weird part. I did give up. I stopped pushing Elizabeth. I, I let go. I finally accepted that Elizabeth wasn't coming back to me. Hey, but she did. Uh, after everything that I did, I mean, I got addicted to pills. I cheated on Elizabeth. Uh, well, what? Elizabeth has absolutely no right to judge you. Alan's heart failed. Did you get to talk to him before he died? No. I'm so sorry. I went to see him. It was too late. I don't understand what it must have been like for Alan after the accident. He lost his son and got back an angry stranger who wanted nothing to do with him. But that wasn't your fault. Yeah. How, how do you think he felt? Losing his child who wasn't really gone. He spent the rest of his life trying to make a connection and I didn't do anything about it. It's because he wanted you to be Jason Cordomay and not yeah. Jason Morgan. Yeah, at first. At first, but later all he wanted was a connection. A visit. I mean, I could have done that. That wouldn't have cost me anything. He, he would have been so proud that I'm going to be your father. Have you told anyone? No. Me neither. Lucky and I are getting married. the right to judge anybody is all I'm saying. I have been judged so harshly by everybody in this town that I guess I'm just a little sensitive on the subject. Well, whatever people thought about your past, you're a hero now. Oh, come on, I wouldn't go that far. I saw it myself. You jumped down from that ledge. Okay, thank you. But if it weren't for the cops, not everybody would have gotten out. Yeah, well, we did all we could. You know, honestly, all I could think about was Elizabeth and that baby. You know, having a child completely changes your perspective. You and Lucky are getting married? He stopped pressuring me. And he finally let go. And for the first time in a long time, I, I recognized Lucky as the person he used to be. And Luke came to see me and he, he was talking about love and mostly forgiveness and, and how Laura saved him. And you want to save Lucky? I wanted to forgive him. Tell him that I loved him. And then I would marry him again. What about our baby? 
Bambini. But I do love him. And I can't see how I can possibly take this child away I'm, from I'm sorry. I can't, I can't think about what's best for Lucky. I want what's best for our child. I understand what I'm asking, okay? If you wanted me to give this baby over to you and Sam, I wouldn't be able to do it either. But if you can make the sacrifice, then you'll know that this child is safe and loved and a part of a happy family. And you made me promise to do what I thought was best for this child. And well, this is it. It's even born. You can see the baby whenever you want. But what? You be like a friend? Not a father? You can be a part of its life just like you were with Michael. Do you know what it cost me to give up Michael? And right after he was born, Carly couldn't even take care of him. She couldn't even touch this kid. I taught him things that I didn't realize I knew how to... How to depend on someone, how to trust, how to how to love, and now you're telling me that I'm never gonna have any of this with my own child. Lucky's been a good dad. This child's gonna have two parents, a big brother, a loving home. Isn't that what you said you wanted for your child? No, but you're asking me to let my child grow up with another family. thing that I have ever had to do. But I really feel like this is the best choice for all of us. Do you honestly think this is right? I know you love this baby. I'm asking you to love it enough to let go. That's what you want. I told you I wouldn't fight you. Thank you. love this house, haven't you? Yeah, it has a, a lot of good memories. Well, I was thinking, you know, and after we get married, I throw away rental on some dinky apartment. Why not live here? 